Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. So, bro, did you know that objectivity is a myth built to maintain white supremacy, bro? Did you know that, bro? So, yeah, here's another uh, we are your voice or wear your voice. I'm still questioning whether or not this is a joke site, and I'm getting heck of trolled here. But uh, objectivity in journalism is a product of and plays in favor of the white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. A delightful little piece here by Inuya Baba. Hmm. Sounds like someone from a, a disparate faction, like a, diff, a different, uh, you know, like another neighborhood, you know. Journalistic objectivity is a myth that works to benefit white supremacy and white supremacists, like Stephen Miller. Take, for example, the New York Times article on his union with Katie Rose Waldman, also an official on the Trump administration. 250 word announcement does not mention Miller's noted affinity for white supremacy. Instead, it dissolves in his KKK esque ideology to mean, quote, an aim to restrict the number of immigrants coming to the country. That is the closest mention of both his racism and xenophobia. So, uh, Basically, I mean, so limiting any sort of immigration level into the country is kkk or white supremacy. I mean, I know that this dude, this, this Trump official, Trump administration official, he has come under fire of some sort. Now, let, me, let me check that out. Stephen Miller brings up Richard Spencer, brings up CNN articles. Ex Breitbart editor says Stephen Miller is a white supremacist. Um, white supremacist label. Oh, he calls himself a race realist. Okay, that's why. So he, he accepts, I guess, like average IQ differences between the races and stuff like that. And that gets leftists a little bit prickly and gets them using, you know, the Nazi white supremacist accusations a little bit too liberally, you know. So, the New York Times is but one example of the false belief in objectivity. What the hell? I mean, I, I guess that's kind of true, but that doesn't mean that objectivity is a myth. Just because they lie, oftentimes in favor of your ideology, doesn't mean that there's no such thing as truth. I mean, I hate to get all Jordan Peterson or whatever versus Sam Harris, but... Uh, when African Americans were subject to lynchings in the 1890s, okay, so I have to hop in the time machine, the publication chose, quote, objectivity over reality, which created a false balance on the issue and failed to recognize the truth that African Americans were being terrorized across the nation. Okay, well, false balance is the exact opposite of objectivity. I mean, if, as a matter of fact, African Americans were being lynched and the New York Times failed to report on that, they failed to be objective. It's really that simple. Rarely, if ever, does this stringent adherence to objectivity benefit, quote, the other side. It's really vague. I don't understand what that means. Because whiteness, this isn't bold now, so you know this is serious. Because whiteness and white supremacy are the norm. They just accept that as, like, the truth or fact. It becomes the basis from which the other side is constituted. Objectivity benefits white supremacy because it does not interrogate it. That to me, that's just like gibberish and like pulpit talk, like mystical, like more mystical, like you know, <laughs> snake oil talk. I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. It's just, it's just word salad. What? What? Okay. Because whiteness and white supremacy are the norm, it becomes the basis from which quote the other side is constituted. Objectivity benefits white supremacy because it does not interrogate it. I, that I don't know, man. If 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 your coverage is biased in one direction or another, it's not objective. You know, that's what it means, right? <laughs> um, this is a really bizarre, bizarre publication and piece here. Objectivity is also supposed to convey quote a fairness, but this fairness is mainly directed at the white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. Oh, of course. 
the quote other side is neutralized until the evils of such a system appear as valid. What? That's just nonsense, dude. What the fuck does that mean? The New York Times also demonstrates the fallacy of objectivity in its coverage of Michael Bloomberg's use of personal wealth in the Democratic Party's presidential primary. Oh, interesting. The article, Bloomberg campaign is a waterfall of cash, provides a hefty detail on the excesses of Bloomberg's presidential run from honey-coated brie at rallies to furnished apartments on Manhattan's east side for staffers. Um, See, so yeah, I mean, Bloomberg's kind of a sleazy banker, and it's funny that, you know, sort of like a fellow white meme, you know, those in the know out there know what I'm talking about. I don't believe that uh, Bloomberg is explicitly white, but, you know, they'll, they'll use that. Um, I don't even know what that has to do with objectivity in and of itself being a myth. Just, I mean, again, I'm repeating myself, but just because the New York Times is, <laughs> like, spotty. I mean, we are your voice, Mag, is a spotty freaking leftist rag. But that doesn't mean that objectivity is a myth. Yeah, Bloomberg's and, um, Bloomberg and Biden, Warren, they're all oligarchs, right? I mean, you know. Whoops. Got a notice there about low disk space. Um, yeah, the New York Times is not objective. We all know that. A major pitfall of journalistic objectivity is that only two sides can exist. The first is that of the white supremacist capitalist patriarchy, of course, and the second is of the other, but an other that is neutralized or rendered palatable for the white supremacy. Any side outside of the two is branded as either unimportant or as extreme and outside the realm of serious discussion. What does this link go to? Does this link go to? Oh, I'm archiving it so maybe it won't load. Let's see. Um, objective journalism has always been a myth. I mean, you know, in the current paradigm, certainly. I mean, as long. I mean, yeah, it's so ironic that people like this would be saying that. I mean, I don't know if they would consider themselves to be journalists or maybe just commentators. I'm just an opinion guy, commentator. You know, objectivity, like, in journalism these days, yeah, it's a little wonky. I'm not going to deny that. Um, objectivity itself is not wonky because it's a product of white supremacy, though. That is really a spurious claim with no real evidence. I mean, no, none cited here. Just a vague attack at Stephen Miller, you know. They got a jab at the Trump Trump administration as much as they can. Yeah. White objective journalism is accustomed to calling Bloomberg an oligarch. Um, dude, again, fellow whites, dude. <laughs> objective journalism is a product of and plays in favor of the white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. It will never truly benefit from those in opposition to and most vulnerable to this oppressive system. Well, you know, that's a mouthful of just academic gibberish that made absolutely no sense and had no backing at all. <laughs> what is, I'm still tripping over this line because whiteness and white supremacy are the norm and becomes the basis from which the other side is constituted. Objectivity benefits white supremacy because it does not interrogate it. So basically, like, what does it mean to... Interrogate. I mean, interrogate generally means that you've committed a crime, right? Or, or, or that you're a suspect of a crime. There's enough evidence to, like, make you a suspect of a crime, right? So you get interrogated, right? A suspect is interrogated. Um, and they're saying that, basically, blanketly saying that all white people have benefited from white supremacy and that they have to interrogate their whiteness in order to be objective. But, I mean, again, that's coming from, like, the place of, like, assuming that you've committed a crime somehow, that you're, you have white guilt, perhaps. I don't know. But this entire, you know, this entire website, 
We are your voice, Mag. Is it a joke? Is it a troll? I don't know. Sound off in the comments and let me know. Um, but for now, Durst out. I'm fine, bitch! Durst. 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 Get out of my face! You are so fucking stupid!